Hey everyone, so we'll begin when you're ready. And this will be our three relationship practice. And um, when you're ready, and if you're comfortable, you can close your eyes. But again, that's just totally up to you. You're tuning in, you're tuning to yourself, and you're asking yourself, what is it that I need as I practice? And then you're listening to yourself. So this meditation is going to be based on this tree relationship practice, which is connecting to, first of all, the presence, then ourselves, and then maybe the people around us. And it could be maybe whoever's around us, our family, friends, partner, children, or maybe it could be the person or the people that we are working with or about to work with. So the first relationship is the one with the moment, because unless we're connected to the present, it's very difficult to be connected to ourselves or anybody else. So we'll consciously connect now to the now and just notice as we do this, how the practice is really all about connection. That's really the essence of the practice. So just beginning to make that connection with your breathing. But all we're doing really is just beginning to notice the breath. And it's not about changing the breath or making it any different. It's really just allowing the breath to be as it is and allowing ourselves to be as we are. And noticing how the breath or bringing attention to the breath connects you to the present and to your body and to yourself. So just being, breathing, breathing and being. And then aware when we move out of connection, with the now, with the breath, we move into thinking when we go time traveling in our mind. So just aware when it happens, but also not judging when that happens. So being really kind to our monkey mind, because it's just the nature of that monkey mind to, to think it's not bad, there's no bad parts. We don't have to follow those thoughts. We can notice them. Ah, I'm thinking. <laughs> Smile at our monkey mind. And then we can come back to being with our breath. We can allow the breath to bring us home. To bring us home to ourselves. Home to the moment. Home to the here and now. So just allowing the breath to bring us home. Just be with our breathing and letting everything else go. We can really rest the body now as well, because sometimes we're holding on so tight in the body. So softening around the forehead, just letting the muscles melt the knees, softening around the right eye and the left eye, softening the right jaw and the left jaw. Letting the jaws open and drop. You can even soften the tongue, the base of the tongue. Just 
softening the back of the neck, the right shoulder, letting it drop, the left shoulder, letting it drop, the back of the shoulders, softening the belly. So soft belly, soft body, with the back straight and strong, like a mountain. Just aware of where your mind is. If your monkey mind is thinking about a thought, we can label that ah, thinking kindness towards the mind, kindness towards our thoughts, and then just bringing the focus back to being and to breathing to this moment, to beingness. So we can just feel the breath moving through the body, feeling the body breathing. Just noticing how you feel now. And just noticing how the connection with the breath impacts us. What is the felt sense of the connection with the breath? And we're just going to bring now that connection to the whole of ourselves next, which is the second relationship, which is the one that we have with ourselves. So as we cultivate presence in the moment, then we can cultivate attunement and connection with this life that's here, that is us, with ourselves. So almost a widening that lens of attention from just the breath to your being. And you can feel into your being or this life that's here, that is you. And just noticing how you are this evening. And we can inquire with ourselves. With the same kindness and curiosity and gentleness that we would give our most dear and precious friend. And with a hand on our heart and a hand on our tummy, we can ask ourselves, how am I? So how is my mind? And how is my body? And how is my heart? How am I this evening? And we can ask this question with so much gentle curiosity and asking the intention of really listening and understanding. So just seeing, can you listen to yourself with this gentle, open curiosity? How am I this evening? And we can listen to the language of the mind and the language of the body and the language of the heart. So this is connection attunement with ourselves and we can also notice now any type of battle or judgment with our being because we are often judging ourselves or battling ourselves in some way and just notice am I judging my mind this evening feeling like it should be different or should be better or should be calmer or shouldn't be this or, or that or am I judging my body what my body looks like on the outside or maybe how my body feels or maybe the function of my function of my body maybe there's a pain or I'm sick or so just noticing am I judging my body Am I judging my emotions? So is there an emotion there present this evening that I'm saying is not okay or shouldn't be? 
this or should be different. So just noticing where I might be judging myself. Am I judging my life in some way? Am I judging how things are today in my external world, maybe in my relationships or my work or my health, or my finances or just something else? Feeling like we're falling short. So just noticing any judgment and just take a breath. So as Bapaji says, each time we judge ourselves, we break our own hearts. And just experimenting with, even for the length of the meditation, to suspend or let go of any judgment that we might have this evening. any way or place where we're turning out of it on ourselves, even just for the length of the meditation, just experimenting. We're trying on the thought that we are perfect and just right as we are. So we can ask the question, who am I without the thought now, today that there's something wrong? And what is it like when I let go of that thought that there's something wrong? How is it when I try on the thought that I am perfect just as I am? My mind is perfect. My body is perfect. My heart is perfect. Perfect for me. Knowing and trusting to be human is to be imperfect. And this is just another way in the ocean of what it means to be a human being. It's okay to be you. You're okay in this moment. Messiness is part of life. It's part of being a human being. So even now, for the length of this meditation, can you let yourself be and turn towards yourself with kindness? You can hold your hand heart with both hands, holding your heart with so much gentleness and kindness, the same way as you would hold a little baby who you loved, knowing there's no bad parts of the heart. Your whole heart is deserving of presence and care. Wishing yourself well. May I be well. May my heart know peace. May I be kind to myself and just take a breath. Just notice the impact of connecting to yourself letting go of judgments and turning towards yourself with kindness. And from this place, this place of connection to the now and connection to ourselves, we're in a beautiful place to begin noticing our connection with others and beginning to cultivate an open-hearted connection with others. So just noticing now, how connected do you feel to others around you at the moment? The people who are most close to you. And maybe we can think of anybody who might be around us today or who we're maybe working with or about to work with and we can see these people in our mind's eye or this person and just seeing them as clearly as we can and just noticing what's good about this person or this group of people noticing their wish to be happy just like you, 
noticing that they too have stress and suffering and difficulty in their lives so that really you're so much more similar than you are different. Just wishing this person or these people well. May you be happy. May you be safe. May you be healthy. May you live with joy and with ease and see this person or people smile as you wish them well. Take a breath. Include yourself now, this person or this group of people. See in yourself and this group and just noticing how you all want to be happy. You're all so similar in that way. And none of you want to suffer. You all have stress and difficulty in your lives. So wishing the group well, including yourself. May we be happy. May we be safe. May we be healthy. May we live with joy and ease. May we be kind to ourselves. May we be a friend to ourselves. May we trust in our inner goodness and in our inner value. And may we give ourselves what it is that we need and just take a breath. Notice what it's like to feel more connected to the people that are around you today. How does that feel? And just take a breath now. And let go of the practice. And just noticing the impact of the practice. How do you feel now in your connection to the moments and to yourself and to people that are around you? And just aware of how the body and the mind and heart feel. And just knowing and trusting as well that however you feel is okay and however you feel belongs to. And then when you're ready, you can take another breath. And you can take your time and you can open your eyes.